Hey, it's me, Aubrey, and today I'll give some tips for first-year students, especially for freshies in the Ateneo. Now, these tips are some of the things I wish I knew when I was a freshman, so hopefully you won't make the same mistakes as I did. Okay. Let's get to it. The first tip that I want you to know is to chill. Chill down. Chill. I know college is, well, scary <laughs> and confusing because you have to adjust to another part, another phase in your life. But as freshies, you shouldn't stress too much about it. I mean, I practically stressed all the way, but I don't want you guys to do the same mistakes as I did. You freshies would eventually have a, like an orientation or like a seminar for Ateneans, it's called Orsam, which is something Ateneans traditionally do to welcome freshies. There would be different seminars and different activities to help you guys adjust to this new environment. It would give you some tips on how to navigate in your college life. If I'm lucky enough, to be accepted, I might just be one of your facilitators or TNT as we call it. TNTs are assigned per block or per section and we would be the ones to explain to you guys the different things that you have to know in Ateneo. You would be grouped or you would be grouped in a block according to your program. So again, chill and keep in touch with the Ateneas that you know. There would be Facebook pages, Facebook groups, and group chats that would help you freshies. So don't stress too much. Second, do not feel pressured. Even if you're not from Owasa family, I do understand that Ateneo has that elite reputation. Big reputation, big reputation. But I'm also not from a wealthy family, and I'm only a scholar. So I personally felt the pressure whenever I would interact with my blockmates because Hi, I'm Lynn from Las Vegas Models. They're all speaking English. Yeah, I was really pressured and I kind of forced myself to speak in English to fit in, even though I wasn't really that comfortable in speaking in English at that time. But right now, I'm pretty comfortable. That's why I'm using it during my vlogs. But before, it was as if I was just forcing it, you know, just to fit in. It did take a while for me to adjust to that environment, to, to adjust to that group of people. But you shouldn't really feel any pressure to conform in something that you're not really comfortable in. If you want to speak Filipino, especially during your stay in the Ateneo, do so just speak the way you normally speak speak in a way that you're comfortable in and don't feel as if you're being degraded for speaking filipino or tagalog it's not really a big thing well for me it isn't i mean yeah maybe maybe there would be people who would judge you for speaking filipino but if i were to be judged for speaking filipino <laughs> I wouldn't care about it because they're not really important people and I don't really care what they say about me so I'm gonna speak in whatever language I feel speaking and right now I feel you know I don't want to speak English but in my other vlogs I would speak in Filipino and that's perfectly okay you shouldn't feel any pressure to conform in something you're not comfortable in okay the third thing that I would suggest you guys to do is to familiarize yourself with different college terms. Because honestly, when I was a freshman, I'm in danger. I was really lost with the like jargons and everything. <laughs> so um, maybe for some people, this is you know basic. But for the benefit of those who don't, here are some basic college terms jargons that you have to know. When we say program, it is basically what you put in your college application. For example, BS Biology or BA Psychology or for me, BA Dip IR, Diplomacy and International Relations. Bruh. But wait, isn't that supposed to be, you know, course? Not quite. When we say course, it is the subjects 
that you take under the program that you took. It still is heavier than feathers. For example, I am currently taking Diplomacy and International Relations. This is under the Pulsi department. Inevitably, I would take a Pulsi course. And since, you know, International Relations, I have to take a foreign language class. I took Japanese, by the way. Units are the number of hours per week per subject. For example, I have this course, you know, Literature. And I have three units in this course. So it means that per week, I would have three hours of class in this subject. Because steel is heavier than feathers. With me so far? Another thing that you have to know is the enlistment process in the Ateneo. What is enlistment? Enlistment is where you enroll or you enlist in a subject that is under your program. I'll make another video about this because this needs special attention. <laughs> so fourth tip that I want you to remember is that in your freshman year, most of your subjects are already pre-enlisted. What does this mean? Pre-enlisted means that the school has already planned and enrolled you in different subjects or different courses under your program. So you don't really have any say with the professors chosen and the schedules chosen as well. You don't really have any choice in there but to you know follow it. But what you do have control with is usually two to three subjects. I had to enlist in two subjects during the first semester. One is PE and one is science. So for PE, I took physical fitness. Okay. And for science, I took NVI Sci. So again, don't stress too much for your enlistment because most of your subjects are already pre-enlisted. Okay. The fifth thing that I want you to remember is that organizations or orgs in college is a lot different from high school. Here in college, you don't really have to join all organizations. Perhaps during your high school days, you would be like, ah, oh, I'm so cool. I joined 10 or 20 organizations and I'm gonna add that to my extracurricular activities because it would help boost my grade or something like that. In college, it's not really like that. In college, if you cannot commit to an organization, like you're inactive, you would get kicked out. Okay. Why do I know a lot about this? Because... <laughs> I've been there. Okay, so um, during my freshman year, I joined, I think, six organizations. <laughs> and I was active, barely active, in two of them. So yeah, I'm also a working student, so I wasn't really you know, available most of the time. Again, don't buy more than you can chew. The last thing that I want you to do is to follow Ateneo in different social media platforms so that I would always be informed about the different things, different announcements. For example, like the start of the school year or the enlistment or for you guys, for freshies, the RSM. I'll link some pages below. Make sure that you freshies like and follow them to keep you updated. Why is this thing very important? Because you're in a new school and chances are you don't really have a clue <laughs> with what's going on, especially we're on online classes, right? So it's harder to communicate. It's harder to relay messages, information. So the best thing that you can do right now is to follow different platforms. Yeah. Probably you don't have any idea about the different departments in Ateneo or the different facilities or the different resources that Ateneans could avail. Like, for example, premium account in Canva, like that. Those pages would provide those information. 
And that's basically it. It's a very short video and I hope it was helpful for you Athenians out there, for freshies. If you have some questions, comment them down below. I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe in this channel. Okay. Again, this is me, Aubrey. Bye!